Anyway, um, Black Shell Media is one of those companies that would publish anything and everything. Like they they were they were a a publisher that didn't matter how good your game was, they would publish it for you. Uh, and that seems like a good idea, except for, oh shit, I just realized I actually have another roguelike that I was given earlier today I should probably cover tonight. Um, but yeah, so what they would do is they would just pick up every game, say like, yeah, we'll market your game and help you produce it and whatever, but really what they do is just take a cut. Probably a terrible idea. Let's see if I can get the upgrade that makes it so I get a free weapon every round. We will see. Okay. Razor, homing, and shielded. Charge. Well, let's try Razor. I have no idea how this one works. Wow. That's kind of awesome, actually. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so what they would do is pick up 50, 50 games per month and promote them. But when I say promote them, all they would really do is just chuck them onto their, uh, onto their, like, just tweet about them on, on their Twitter, and that's it. That was all they would do. That, that was the extent of their promotion. I would have been a better publisher than them to some degree for the amount of money that they were taking from their, uh, from their clients, I guess. And I, I think they've, like, totally... I either given up or, like, people don't buy from them anymore. Or maybe I just don't pay attention as much. But, like... It was just dirty from the beginning and everyone could kind of smell it so no one ever touched their games. Except for me, once. I, I played... Uh, I specifically played Dungeon Souls. And I thought it was actually an absolutely... Oh, right, I was going to blow my nose. It is... Allergy season around here, and it is not fun. Uh, let's see. Now, can I actually... No. They will fly back to me through the walls. But they will not actually fly through walls normally. Uh, but so I, I played Dungeon Souls, which was a game that was either partially produced by them or published by them, and I, I never got the full story because effectively... Uh, the develop developers got screwed over twice because, like, one of the one of the main people working on the game just totally bailed on it and just sat on the code and refused to work on it while the rest of the team uh, wanted to. And so eventually they ousted him, took over, uh, finished the game to the best of their abilities, and then no one cared because no one was looking anymore. I gotta get that ammo. Oh boy, I gotta get that ammo. Uh, let's see. We do not have a vault key. Interesting. Okay, I gotta blow my nose. Alright, life is good. So, I don't know. I I wish I had more information on this one, but it was just kind of a bad deal for a lot of people involved at the time. And then I haven't heard anything of it since. Probably for the best. Okay, there we go. So we get the key, unlocks vaults. Let's see what's in the vault. Unfortunately, I barely have any ammo. Well, I'll take it. It's good. Go for that. Do I want to grab the bomb? The fire bomb? Yeah, I'll grab, grab both. All right, there we go. Bosses might be a bit tough in this situation considering how little ammo I have. Well, uh, let's figure it out. Okay. I don't know. I feel bad because there's some, like, really fin fantastic games out there, and they just kind of die. And I'm not going to say through fault of the developers. It kind of is. Like, picking a bad publisher can absolutely sink a studio. Uh, and picking a, a good publisher can absolutely save it. Like, sometimes I feel like Kingdom would be completely dead in the water if it weren't for Raw Fury being absolute champions. Uh, let's see, I don't think I have anything left here. But maybe that's just me. 
Yeah, bad advertisement publisher can hurt a lot. I'm trying to think of other publishers that, like, made me stay away. Oh, uh, freaking, where's the, um, Nicalis? I am super, like, not a fan of Nicalis. Apparently, they're really aw awkward, if not awful, to work with. Um, so that's... That's one of those, like, publishing studios that, like, everybody wanted to partner with for a while. And then, like, nowadays, is, it's, from what I heard, not like a persona non grata in the development community, but it's definitely one of those where it's, like, there's enough horror stories lurking around that you don't want to touch it. Same thing with, uh... There's another one. It, it wasn't a Kalis. It was whoever pro uh, whoever was in charge of publishing Iconoclasts. They straight up like just refused to pay their uh, their developers for like months, uh, and would just like sit on fees and insult them and do some like other kind of heinous shit. I just feel bad. Because, like, it's hard enough to make and produce a game yourself. And to have, you know, the person that's supposed to be on your side, uh, trying to screw you over is just sad. Well, there goes my shields. I thought I was safe in that corner, but turns out those blocks were destructible. That's what I get for not paying attention. Yeah, cave story looks fun. It does look fun. It, I mean, it is, it's a fantastic game. I think the only problem with it is it feels a little dated. Yeah, they stole cave story. Yup. I think, um, I've heard from interviews that the, uh, the fallout from that wasn't quite as bad. Uh, that like the, uh, that, was it Pixel? I think it was, I think he goes by Pixel online. He did end up getting paid. Uh, and that that was like one of the major issues. But I believe they have like publishing rights to it or straight up ownership of the IP uh, because of whatever contracts they they signed with the guy. And it uh, more or less means we'll never get a Cave Story two unless they relax or new management comes in and you know writes the wrong. But I kind of doubt it, which sucks. Ow. It is really brutal trying to do this without anything more than the basic gun. Uh, let's see, we might be able to get something in the shop down here. Laser continuous, it's only 3,000 gold. Worth it. Go with those. Alright, HP is up. Alright, I think we're good. We're good. Absolutely good. Yeah, Dangan. Did Dangan Entertainment publish Crosscode? Uh, do we want salvage or discount? Let's go for salvage. Yeah, Minoria. Yeah, because Dangan Entertainment was the other one. Uh, beyond Nicalis. They're, they're the ones that I was kind of iffy on. Uh, and that's part of the reason why I haven't touched Bug Fables yet. Even though I know, I know Bug Fables is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I was right in the middle of Dangan Entertainment. Uh, like people coming out and more or less being like, yeah, these people are like awful and like stealing games and game profits and whatnot and I'm just like man I'd love to cover that game but uh guess not not now that sucks for me because like I would I don't know I I wish I didn't have to put my morals uh get the railgun uh I wish I didn't have to put my morals on top as much all right, on top, prioritize my morals over, like, you know, my just desire to play certain things. It's got to be here, right? No. Here? There we go. HP parts, life is good. There we go. It's tricky because the devs involved are cool and probably shouldn't be punished, but yeah, exactly. 
Let's see, don't give money to dang it. The interesting thing is, I believe, uh, the... The specific people that were, like, bad have left. Same thing with, like, uh... I'm trying to remember. Holy shit, this gun absolutely wrecks. Is that it? Man, that was a lot faster. Uh, let's see. Let's go for the damage. We do need it. Do I got anything else? Nope. Yeah, and, like, honestly, like, you don't actually have to, uh, avoid these developers that's entirely like a voluntary thing i just from my perspective i really do do try and you know cover the games that are being developed by uh good people or published by good people and sometimes that means i will have to skip out on a good game and then cover it later whoops how the okay i should have gotten out of there a lot longer a uh, lot uh for the a while ago. Gosh, I really like this gun. I got another new hat. I gotta figure out how to put hats on. Uh, sure. Disrupting Ricochet. Let's do this. How much money do I have? I actually don't have enough. Also, so we don't get many visitors down here. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why too. Scary medic bot. Okay, ricochet on a railgun is pretty damn dang fun, especially with uh, homing involved. A disaster with the Axion Verge. Did that ever get resolved? I heard it did. But I never heard exactly why. Hey, that got me the secret. Good stuff. That is really convenient. Unfortunately, we have since run out of gun. Which is a tragedy. Uh, shop didn't have a gun. No. It does have a weapon. Well, this sucks. Okay. Get the HP. I don't see any spots where I could get a gun here. Okay. And we're good. Alright. Got anything up here? That's some stuff up here. Still no weapon, though. A lot of max HP. If we can get the uh, iron plating to increase my, H my max HP by a third, we are going to be in a very happy spot. I just gotta survive until then. Whoop! There we go. Freaking spooky. I am one healthy boy. I just also only have basic gun. That one run where I just got a new new gun every floor. Turns out that actually was pretty amazing. I was kind of poo-pooing it because they were kind of garbage, but it turns out that's actually really helpful. Ow. Okay, so you do take damage on those fires. Hello, yes, I'm looking for Garden. We 
you're finding nothing. There we go. There, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. So, laser piercing charges faster. Uh, shrapnel fireball. Or, sh wait. <laughs> shrapnel homing fireball. Shrapnel homing fireball. Piercing laser. Uh, let's go homing. Huh. Nikalis made the awful Slay the Spire console port. I didn't know about that. To be fair, if you're a public figure with... Uh, if you stream a game that can be contain, argued to contain evil, the internet hate mob will have your head over on, uh, head on a pike. I find most people tend to actually be quite friendly. It's when you try and defend a game that is... considered uh, reprehensible. That's usually when people go after you. Oh, I walked right into that one thinking it was money. Same vagueish color. Hey, there we go. I was wondering where this was. Okay. What do we got over here? Damage. Dang it. Well, we already found the secret. And I have a decent amount of money, so I should be able to buy not everything. Maybe after I fight the boss. That was hard. Okay, I gotta go for the HP. We took too much damage there. Uh, let's see. But I do have enough money so we can buy this now. Alright, we're good. Uh, let's see. How am I doing on bombs? Nah, I don't really need it. Alright. I think this will be the, uh, the last monolith run for tonight. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, because I'm, I'm actually rather enjoying this, but it's also getting kind of hard. And... I got other games I should be playing today. Boy. There we go. Specifically, Space Grunts 2, which I totally forgot that I had gotten a key for that. And I should probably cover the game, because I keep asking for that developer's games... Oh, there goes that shield. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Recover some HP. Get some ammo. <laughs> uh, let's recover some ammo. We actually want to keep my weapon going for as long as possible. At least this one. Oh, got the HP parts. Go here. New weapon. Revolver, ricochet, homing. Blessed. Extra damage and ammo. Hell yeah. That gets me some HP back. Okay, we get an upgrade. Upgrade is... Let's just go for the discount. Okay, so for the Axiom Verge thing, he filed the lawsuit a year ago. Long process. Also low on money. So when his dog got sick, he had to sell the car to cover vet costs. Dog died 12 
days later. Cripes. Well, on the plus side, Axiom Verge 2 is on its way, so hopefully he'll be able to recoup and then some. I know, I know I'm know. i like, I'm 100% going to be covering Axiom Verge on launch. Uh, absolutely adored it when I played it. It was a weird as shit game, but it was also like a one-man band Metroidvania, which is like really impressive. Oh, and this child is is doing well. That's good. Got him. Nimbus has been broken. Keep grabbing ammo. Don't know if I'm gonna get another gun opportunity here, if I can. Yeah, if you haven't heard of Axiom Verge, it's an absolutely fantastic Metroidvania made by one dude. And it is like a proper, like, Super Metroid. Oh, cat ears. Uh, it's a proper Super Metroid, like, successor and whatnot. And, like, I don't put that lightly. It was a little weird from, like, my own perspective, but a lot of that just had to do with the fact that the controls were just a little off and I wasn't used to them. Alright, Fireball Overheat Split or Consecrated and Homing. Well, we know I like homing railguns, so there's that. <laughs> have I unlocked the intensity settings? Hmm, I actually have no idea. Let's go for the overheat fireball. Is that under options? I don't think so. Oh, overheat is such an overwhelmingly good upgrade. It's so good. It's a mirror allows you to practice against bosses. Useful. Damn it. Okay. There we go. Yeah, being able to just have like a big AOE damage over time effect is kind of incredible. Okay, Ugh, my money. Every once in a while I'll just see my money fly off into the sunset. And I'm like, no. It's a tragedy, but it's a small tragedy. Alright, is there anything else? No. Long shot, secret. And it's just an HP part. Not the best, nor the most interesting. Let's see, recovers all ammo. And both of those. Alright, we're good. Let's see, I've got a decent amount of HP and I believe this is the... Oh wait, this is the Ordinator. Okay. Got him. Uh, let's go for the damage increase. We need the- Oh, there was another room! I didn't even notice. Yeah, I guess I should probably give context for why I'm talking about, uh... 
Axiom Verge. Uh, that was the one where they were going to do, like, a, a physical version. And the, uh, the publishers that were in charge of the physical version effectively took a bunch of donation money. Because there was going to be, like, a charity drive for the developer's sixth son. And, uh, they are going to make a, uh, they're going to make the physical version and then, um, give the proceeds to the kids' medical bills. Except for, they just took the money and ran. No physical version. Ah, damn it. Yeah, no physical version and no, um, uh, no charity money either. And just, I think, still haven't, haven't done a damn thing about it. I think they claimed that they just didn't have enough money or something like that, but it's just, it's the shittiest thing ever. I get it, like, business is business, but, like, screwing over a charity case just because you can't get your act together is just heinous. Oh, we found the secret in one sh shot as well. Hell yeah. Oh, can I just get into the vault? Hell yeah. Oops. Free money. Okay, charge, ricochet, instant hit, consecrated. Fireball. Go for the charge ricochet. That sounds more useful. Maybe. We are good. We're good. Chest room has... Oh, no, this is a weapon room. Surge arcs to enemies when fully hit shotgun style or disrupting pulse waves. Let's go with the radiating laser. Alright, get my max HP up. We are good. God, I love how bloopy the soundtrack is. There's something just... Fantastic about a really good bloopy soundtrack. Did I get hit or did I just get shield? I actually have no idea. I'd like to get my HP back. I should probably start going for that more so than anything else. Oh. Well, that's some secrets. Triple. Charges faster. Piercing. We want piercing. That's really good, actually. Because we got a boss that we're going into. Oh my gosh. Triple on this weapon is insane. And we're going into a boss fight soon. Uh, last boss fight soon, in fact. I think. Avoiding. We're good. I gotta be very careful about walls. There we go. Alright. Life is kind of good. Gotta be very careful when I dodge, though. 
Brain Man. Brain Man gets me some HP. Alright, we're good. We get this. Let's go. Let's go with reserves. Alright. So far, so good. Hopefully this weapon does not run out before we... Uh, ow. Hopefully this does not run out before we're done. Unlock a seal face death. This might actually be a really good time for that. Hey, there's the boss. Oh, damn it. Well, glad I got reserves. Because I think we might be going into the main boss fight without a weapon. Damn. We already found the secret. Well, what do you think? Face death? Oh, hey. You can actually see my stats. Something about dash and extended info, but I don't even know. Well. Unlock a sealed face death. That was a bit too much. Especially without a weapon. I was kind of okay, but that's fine. We did we did fairly well, all things considered. Okay. Furnish. Oh. So the hats aren't for me, they're for that thing. Okay. So what else do we got? How much money do I have? I almost have enough for Thunder Thunderhead. Damn it. Same thing with the Swarmer pack. How do I get new characters? Is it this one? I'm gonna grab that. And we're gonna grab Akashic. Beat the final boss once, then purchase them. I did, though. Get lost. Wish we had a jukebox down here, that'd be rad. We do. This is such a nostalgic track for me. Oh. That's fun. What if I go down? What is down? Oh, down is tutorial. Alright, one way or another. This is fun. I'm probably going to stop here, though, just because it's starting to frazzle me a little bit. And I'm going to switch to a completely different, totally new roguelike that I should probably play at least a little bit today of. Uh little bit of it today. Yeah.